it's almost like when you throw your biggest punch and that was all you had and it didn't hurt me at all. At this, at this point, Kendrick is like, oh, man, he smelled blood. J. Cole, don't do it, man. Kendrick, he's in his zone right now. I say start with love. This is dope. Absolutely. It's cool. Ain't a bad song at all. But I heard J. Cole just say he walked away because he seen where it was about to go. And he wouldn't have lost a battle, he would have lost a bro. And then, like, 12 later, bars later, he says, find a nigga that's rapping this incredibly. Cole, we found him. His name is at Kendrick Lamar. I just said, man, but that's not what I pulled from this. Me personally, it's the figurative asterisk that is now forever on his legacy. The braggadocious, I'm the best MC boss will forever get a side eye now. Facts. Like, Cole, you can never say that ever again. You can't say this. It's an obvious bluff. It's an obvious bluff. It's like, we know that pistol's not loaded no more. We know it's not loaded. Like, it's almost like when you throw your biggest punch and that was all you had. And it didn't hurt me at all. At this, at this point, Kendrick is like, oh, man, he smelled blood. J. Cole, don't do it, man. Kendrick, he's in his zone right now. Kendrick is in his mode right now. Don't do it, bro. Because this ain't what, because he's already said, like, Kendrick, he's willing to go there. J. Cole, he's still in this song, still tiptoeing. No, bro, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. I said, this song sounds like, okay. Okay, y'all, here's why I backed out the battle, and here's how I feel about it. That's how I hear. Don't throw rocks at us. Battle for what? Just to please some strangers on the internet? No, nigga, because a battle is one of the portions of the foundation of hip-hop. It's the foundation of hip-hop, man. Battle. DJs battle. Dance battles. Come on, bro. Dropping a diss. Apologizing for it. Then deleting it. It's anything but hip-hop. Cold is cold, and he's always going to be cold. But me personally... I don't want to hear this bullshit anymore. I feel you, man. I feel you. Like, and he pretty much said all my sentiments, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. They pretty much everything I'm just talking about. Let's see. Let's go a little bit deeper. Oh, here go another one. Say, Drake and Cole making Dot look, look like the villain. It's the white side of screaming. I'm a victim. It's this victim complex, man. I don't like it. I don't like the passive aggressiveness that I'm getting from both of these men. Y'all gotta understand... Like, Drake, I can, I understand the passive aggressiveness from him because it's normal now. I kind of tune it out, especially with the Instagram, the social media. It is what it is. And I saw that he ended up liking um, J. Cole's post on Instagram. I posted that on my on my YouTube. But from J. Cole, it's looking weird, bro. You have too many killers around you. It's too many killers around you, J. Cole. You got J.I.D. around. You got them Dreamville dudes. Y'all got too many snipers out here for you to be doing this, bro. J. Cole, you know what's going on. It's almost like Drake thinking that he could just get away with having Ghost Riders. Drake thinking he could get away with certain things just because he's Drake. He thinking he's bigger than hip-hop. Cole, you are not bigger than hip-hop. Cole, you're not bigger than hip-hop. You don't have the rule, like you don't have the leverage to come through and just change the rules that you please. Nah, this is what hip-hop is made for. So if you don't want to battle, man, you got to step aside. Go be like MC Hammer. Go dance, but do not do not rap battle, bro. Don't battle. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't like this narrative, man. Trying to make it seem like like Kendrick is the bad guy. Like Kendrick said, don't do it. Don't do it. Drake did it anyway. He did it anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, speaking of that, look. Hey, J. Cole is literally a bitch. Drake was on stage crying about not having friends in the industry. Here comes J. Cole with a damn love letter. And I just say, Jake... J. Cole does not understand he's being used by Drake. Drake does not care about this dude. Drake does not care about, like, the reason why Drake and J. Cole get along so much, like I said at the beginning, is because they're both mixed. They've never fit in. J. Cole has never fit in with black people. He's never f truly fit in with white people. Y'all know his the neighbor song. I think my neighbor, the neighbors think I'm selling dope because he had the, the police called on him for being, he was being racially profiled. He had an entire music video. And the entire music video was just the security cam footage. So he's always been this dude. He's never truly fit in on the white side. Never truly fit in on the black side. So I believe he's been trying to overcompensate with the hip hop and the I let Nas down and AZ. And the, like he's been trying to overcompensate with his blackness. The exact same way Drake tries to overcompensate with his blackness. But it's all performative. He knows performative. Because they can never... 
be what Kendrick is. They've never experienced what blackness is from Kendrick's perspective. And Kendrick can speak to everybody. Because Kendrick is not only, like I said, dark skinned, but he's also from Compton. So he can speak to all different levels of blackness that Drake and J. Cole cannot. And that's what they do not like. That's what they don't like, bro. They are, That's something that Kendrick will always have on Drake and J. Cole. No matter how much money Drake has, somehow, how many streams. That's what they're looking for. The acceptance that they will never get from the culture. The acceptance they will never get from black people. Some black people don't even like J. Cole. They still, like he said in the song, they're still questioning his blackness. They don't like that, bro. They hate that. They hate that. Ooh, Jake wants to be black. Drake wants to be dark skinned so bad. He wants to be dark skinned, but he does not understand what comes with that dark skin. That's the reason why growing up, he liked Pusha T. He was a big Pusha T fan. Growing up, like, he loved the dirty South. He loved the, the nasty, dirty. Like, he's, he's not with the, the, the pop music for real, for real. Like, he's only doing that because he's popular. Because he's an actor. Like, that's what he does. He has a, a, a female fan base, and they love that caliber of music. And he makes a lot of money. But, man... Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Jake Drake was just on stage complaining. How many songs Drake has saying no new friends, no friends in the industry, and J Cole on the <laughs> J Cole is on the song talking about I was gonna lose a friend. Man, quit playing, bro. Come on, J Cole. Come on, J Cole. What we doing? It says you cannot, you cannot to cap off the festival you created with your label that you headlined. Say Kendrick is the greatest, isn't he? Man, I should have never responded. That was mean, guys. To then come out with this and say, I pulled out because they were just wanting to click some money. And it's like, Cole, you understand. People are going to make money off of it, man. Who cares? Who cares? And that's a cop-out. They try to play victim like, oh, man, y'all just trying to use us to... Nah. Do you not understand what was going on? Did you... Cole, did you... did you not see the videos? Like, they, they really think we playing. Like, do you not understand? Do you not... Like, look at the title. It's also another influencer that just caught up, just got caught up on the exact same thing. Like this is Dead Seas, like Diddy and Drake and no, this ain't this ain't about music, man. This is not about music, J. Cole. And this is what happens when you're so used to playing characters. He's so used to performing his activism. And we already know his performance because no name called him out. We already know he's used to performing his I'm the GOAT, I'm the best lyrical MC because number one, if you're truly that guy, there's no way you would have only make the track release it have cover arts but to then go and retract that nah nah and then go back again and say nah i, I did it because i was nah bro no 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 he's doing that drake i was trying to hide the kid from the world i was trying to hide the world for my kid type thing nah nah bro i was like he was trying to spare us like he was trying to spare kendrick and drake like he just came with some red, super hot fire like he had this super, like this red button like Drake had. No, well, I don't like these games, bro. He's trying to gaslight us. Like we say, like we stupid. Exactly, it's pretentious. It's like he's so intellectual and he's just such a good guy. He's such a good guy. And I say it all the time, man. It don't matter if you're an atheist or a, a Christian. If you're a Christian, you got to understand Jesus was the friend of sinners. Jesus could go to hell and he can go to heaven, go to hell, go to heaven. It means nothing. If you're an atheist, you, like there's this, Famous Bruce Lee uh, quote about the warrior in the garden or being the gardener at war. I'm a warrior in the garden. That's what real masculinity is. Drake and J. Cole, they're not showing true masculinity. A true masculine man is like that, uh, that picture with uh, Kendrick with the gun with Whitney and his kids in the front. You have to be able to defend your family, man. It's not about wanting to go out of your way and be a murderer and just be evil. No, I would do anything to protect my family. It just goes back to just martial arts in general from a scarcity mindset and a, an abundance mindset. I don't train because I'm angry. That's the worst thing you could possibly be. Anger is a secondary emotion. So if you are angry, that means you've completely neglected the initial frustration, sadness, disappointment. And now if you've allowed that to manifest into anger, as a martial artist, that's the worst thing you could possibly be. Damn, I'm out there. Drink. That's the worst thing you could possibly be. And that's the reason why most people only last about 30 seconds in a fight. You're not clear. You're not conscious. They don't train for these things. They're deceivers. They're liars. He's so used to just playing games. He doesn't understand these, these masks are being unveiled. These masks are being unveiled. And Kendrick said he's born. 
Kendrick says he's born and Kendrick is Kung Fu Kenny. He knows what's going on. Like I said, if Kendrick don't mess with that man, J. Cole, do not mess with that man, Drake. Y'all playing games. Y'all playing games, bro. And one of these men are not playing. They think they spar. Nah, this is not a spar, man. This ain't a spar, bro. It's legit fighting. We we fight. You feel me? And even after that, you gotta understand, like, if you're a wrestler, you fight or just an athlete in general. You compete against your peers, your teammates way more than you compete against your opponents. So that's no reason why you should be fighting out of anger. Like imagine you a football player hitting your teammates all the time. What are you talking about? I don't have to hate. I don't have to hate. I don't have to be angry. You don't have to be angry to compete, J. Cole. You can just compete, bro. Parade, but, hey, man. Let's see. And it's so crazy that I don't even think like Jake. Wait, let me see. Where's that tweet? I just had it. Here we go. Look at this tweet. It said, Drake and Kendrick fans don't agree on anything except the fact that J. Cole needs to shut the fuck up. Yeah, J hey, shut up, man. Shut up, man. You had your turn. We already had an amazing summer. Move out the way, J. Cole. You ain't not, you ain't not welcome no more. You already fucked that up. Nah, this is, like I said, it's almost disrespectful to hip-hop at this point. You had your time. You had one of the best opportunities. We could have had an amazing triple threat, bro. One of the most legendary battles of all time, and you dropped out. Oh, well. But like I said, I have a lot more respect for uh, respect for Drake than I have for J. Cole. J. Cole, he said, nah, I'm cool. But I'm still better than you, though. But but nah, I'm cool. I ain't going to step in the ring with you. If I step in the ring with you, I'll probably, I'll probably do too much. I'll go, I'll go crazy. You you don't want to see me. So, mm -hmm. that, man, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Hey, man. Let's see. Let's see. Facts, then. Yeah, like you said, he came up with the whole entire scenario. He came up with the entire scenario. And, like, even then, it's like, bro, Drake is not your friend. Drake is not your friend. Kendrick was more like co-workers. Y'all were, like, acquainted. It's like Kendrick respects you. But at the same time, it's like, like, Kendrick just need to go ahead and just say, hey. He already said, like, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Like, what more do you need? Come on, what more do you need, Cole? Cole's still trying to play this peaceful God. No, 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 no. Without war, there is no peace. There is no true, genuine peace without war, bro. You got to be able to go to war. And I guess it's like, I don't understand where J. Cole can go from this. Like, it's like he can continue making the same music, but he's already exposed for not having any true substance behind it. Because like I said, he doesn't read. So it's like, eh, the fake conscience, that's out the window. You can't talk about I'm the GOAT, I'm the GOAT, huh? Oh, well. Because when you had the opportunity to prove that you're the GOAT, you dropped out. You quit. You literally tapped out at your own festival. At your own festival. Nah, bro. You can't come back from that. You can't come back from that. I, I hate that we even got to have this conversation. I'm hey, I'm telling you, like, and y'all got to understand, Kendrick is in that zone. He's still working. He still has the Super Bowl. He still has, most likely, an album coming soon. He still, I know, I know for a fact, they had the tour coming soon. I understand, Kendrick has only been releasing songs. Kizzy hasn't been doing much. Drake has still been trying to do the influencer games. Y'all know the entire last few weeks they had the top five situation. You had the What's the Dirt situations, the DJ Academics, the Mall situations. Cole is not releasing this. And like, bro, no. No, 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 no. Nah, he's not saying anything that we didn't already think. Now it's just bringing it to the forefront. Now it's just, it's just giving us more justification. It's like, bro, Cole, sit down, bro. Sit down. Like, nah, I don't want to hear that no more. I don't, it's like, it's crazy because he's destroyed his entire brand by himself. And that's what Kendrick does. Kendrick, once again, them sabotage themselves. Because J. Cole, like, everything you stood for, you completely destroyed on your own. On your own. Like, oh, man. On to the next one, man.